Hi, and welcome back to today's video. I am Willie, and I'll be discussing on four signs of recession in 2023. So sit back and relax, enjoy while I'm going to present to you today. For the time being, I think a lot of us are actually, um, you know, contemplating or even having discussion whether or not the world economy is going to succumb to recession. Why I say so is because there's been a lot of discussion going on lately, uh, whereby price of goods is actually quite high, and at the same time, the economy might not be performing at its best by looking at the recent economic data from some countries. Because of this, uh, I have, we have actually identified four signs that might actually point towards recession. And now let's take a look at number one. Number one, US dollar has been gaining its traction since early this year. Right now, US dollar is actually hovering at near 20 years high, as you can see here, although it has suffered from some losses, uh, but it still hovered at quite a high level as compared to its peers. With US dollar rising, it is actually good for, you know, Americans. However, it's not that great of a story for all of us who are not Americans. Well, for Americans, they can actually get goods from, you know, imports into the country much more cheaper. And at the same time, if they are traveling to another country, then yes, the exchange rate is actually quite strong. However, for all other countries who are actually using US dollar as their trade currency or even uh, you know traveling to us is not such a great story for them one of the things that i would like to discuss about a strong us dollar is in fact loans some loans that company take uh, no matter where you are are denominated in us dollar and when us dollar keep rising this will actually means that the loan that you took with uh, denomination in us dollar is going to get even more expensive and if the rise of US dollar is not controlled, then you will see your loan, which you actually take like around maybe 100,000 US dollars. It might get even more expensive as time goes by if US dollar goes higher because you will need to convert your local currency into US dollar in order to pay that loan since it is denominated in US dollar. So as it goes higher, this might actually force some you know, companies uh, to suffer from liquidity issues or even cash flow issues due to rising US dollar. And thus, this may lead to a dominoes effect. As more and more companies suffer from this issue, the whole economy might even collapse. While that might be a bit far-fetched for now, but let's see how it goes in terms of US dollar and its recent rise uh, that has actually achieved its highest level in 20 years. Now, number two is Federal Reserve and the obsession of interest rate. Recently, Federal Reserve has actually hiked their interest rate uh, for several times. And they did this because they feel that the inflation in the US is actually quite high and it's actually quite sticky. Sticky in the sense whereby it is very hard to bring down the inflation into a lower level. For now, with inflation still running at high levels, as you can see from previous data that has been um, published from the US, the Federal Reserve have decided and they have actually published a sort of signal whereby they are actually quite hawkish to uh, you know, increase interest rate further in the future. So because of this, a lot of investors will actually uh, gauge uh, if you if US is going to increase their interest rate further, so why not we repatriate all of our capital into the US? And this will actually create a vacuum whereby all liquidity will be going towards the US dollar or the US itself, and it will suck up liquidity or uh, you know capital or FDIs from other countries. And due to this, other countries which, uh, you know, might be in a developing state status might suffer even more. And due to this, due to the vacuum uh, effect whereby everyone is concentrating on the US dollar, this will create cash flow issues and this might actually limit their ability to recover from, uh, you know, a recession, which is previously induced by COVID. And it might even lead to another recession in the future. 
And because of this, I would say what we can do is to look out more in terms of future economic data from the US. And we will monitor and see whether the Federal Reserve is going to change their perspective in terms of interest rate. In case if the future economic data still suggests that Federal Reserve has to increase interest rate and Federal Reserve also confirmed it from their end, then we might see this problem deepens even further. Number three is the sell-off in equities. Sell-off in equities are quite deep for the past uh, few weeks, I would say. This is due to higher expectation towards Federal Reserve in increasing their interest rate. As we increase interest rate, this will also mean that the borrowing costs will also increase. And why does increase in borrowing costs actually affects the performance of uh, US equities? It is because as borrowing costs grow higher, it will actually hinder companies from taking more loans. Normally, companies will actually take more loans in expansion period or to expand their business, to increase their production and such and such, or even create even more job opportunities. However, as Federal Reserve is actually restricting this by increasing their interest rate, we might actually see a significant slowdown in terms of companies' performance. As company performance slows down, this might actually, uh, this might even eventually lead to layoffs if the whole performance is actually very, very bad. So it is actually a domino effect as well because when you increase interest rate too fast, it will actually lead to a, a, a quite fast downgrade in terms of performance of the US companies. And if the interest rate actually increases even further uh, in the future, then we might see a significant downfall in performance across the board and this might eventually lead to a recession. For now, what I can say is that everything is still under speculation because interest rate uh, is still at a high level. However, further increase in interest rate is still unknown. Although Federal Reserve actually says that they might increase interest rate in the future, it is all still dependent on future US data such as inflation. So we need to see whether it will happen or not. Number four is political instability. We have actually witnessed the attack upon Ukraine from the Russian forces and subsequent after that, European Union has decided to cut their reliance of natural gas that is being supplied from Russia. One fun fact to know is that European Union actually relies a lot in terms of natural gas that is being supplied to them by the Russian itself. And after this announcement, it has actually shaken up the whole financial market because they speculate by doing so, it might actually push European Union to the brink of recession. Why I say so is because natural gas has been supplied uh, by a lot from the Russian counterpart and cutting its supply may actually force European Union to look for alternatives from other countries that may be being charged even higher from the ones that is being supplied by Russia themselves. And due to this, it will actually lead to a rise in the cost of living in European Union. And eventually, if the central bank is not able to control inflation, overall economy is going to collapse like a domino effect. And that's all for today's video on four signs of recession in 2023. In case if you'd like to know more about the economy, please do subscribe to our channel and look out for more videos just like this.